rainbow high check curl. Mm, 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 hey. So you guys, welcome back to my channel. As you guys can see in front of me, I have food. I have sushi and I have these noodles. So first and foremost, hi. <laughs> so it's been a while since I like made a mukbang video or like a story time video. So I was like, someone actually helped me think about the story time because I wanted to do a story time but I wanted to do about something else and then somebody told me I should do it about this so <laughs> yeah I'm doing it about this so yeah and I thought while we do that we can eat so meet the sushi look at me I told you guys this quarantine got everybody being chefs but who thought I'd be making sushi so I'll show you guys some close-ups of it and yeah, I made more, but you know, I was like, okay, let me just, let me just eat a little bit, you know what I'm saying? But this story time I have for you guys today, oh my goodness, is it a story time? But yeah, so let's get right into Okay, so with that being said, I also just have some juice on the side, you know, because I made the spicy. Like I told you guys, I made all of this myself. Let me show you guys how it looks from up close. I'm going to try to just tilted but i'll make sure to like even take a picture but i'm sure you guys can see i really hope you guys can see maybe i should be you guys see. oh my okay so this is what it looks like and that's what it looks like too you can see the black sesame seed okay so i'm really freaking excited about this video because it's also been a while since i've done like a sit down video um most of my videos recently has just been like vlogs cooking videos or whatever so yeah so i'm excited but first i'm gonna take my food i also have chopsticks i'm excited y'all food is life i don't know about you guys but food is life i'm gonna start with the noodles oh my goodness <laughs> y'all need to know oh my goodness look at that okay wait give me a moment let me take it in okay let me first pray Let's do it. Let's do it. I'm excited. Okay. I really did that. Wow. Okay. I'm gonna do this. And then I'm gonna take a bite. Oh okay, yeah, I'm gonna try the sushi. I'm excited for the sushi because I was so proud when I made it, but anyways, let's try the sushi. Mm, mm, mm. Yo, you guys, somebody pay me to be your chef. I will. I will. Guys, that was so good. Oh my goodness. I feel like I, I literally feel like I'm in a restaurant. But, anyways, okay. So, I can't eat all the time, but I will. I probably will. But, anyways, so let me tell you guys the story time. Oh my goodness. This story is so freaking crazy. So, let me start. So, this, this actually happened a year ago. A year ago. Oh my goodness. So, um, my phone had broke. So, um, I was like, okay. Let me start from how my phone broke. 
so um before the phone i had now i had the iphone 6 and so like i had it for a while and the last time i had it was like like the beginning of the um last year i think still in january like literally the beginning of the days and when i was home i don't know i went to sleep at the night in the night you're at the night <laughs> but i went to bed and then i took like an ice bottle because that time it was summer so i took like an ice bottle of water with me to my room right i put it like next to me by my like bed gussie like my my bed that you know what i'm saying man the bed table next to you ah. now i'm not realizing in my head listen water phone put together so i put my phone next to the bottle on my table so like in the middle of the night i don't know how this happened but i just woke up in the middle of night in the middle of the night and then suddenly i just saw like there's a puddle my phone is in the puddle what the freak do i do now okay i'm drying 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 the phone ah okay fide it's fine it's fine right i'm like it's fine your phone goes survive you know Mm, that's what I thought. So the next morning I woke up. <laughs> the phone was just dead. Didn't want to turn on. Didn't want to charge. Put it in rice. All those shinies. All those things, you know. I did all those things. But no, nothing worked. The phone didn't want to go on. So, and I went on because I was not going to let my phone die like this. Because, like, a phone isn't just a phone. People need to understand that it has your pictures on like forget everything else but my pictures bro my pictures my memories you know so i was like oh no 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 but anyways so fast forward um somehow i don't know yeah so i was like phoneless and i was like okay obviously i can't just get a phone immediately get phones out of the sky so um fine cool so i, so I used the other phone in the meantime cool mind you this is a borrowed phone right okay so so i use the other phone in the meantime and this day this day okay so it, and then it was fine i was cool i was like on my things again i got my things back and whatnot cool cool <laughs> when i thought my life was good brother nope okay but anyways so <laughs> so cool so fast forward my parents and i okay first of all let me just take another bite because i'm looking at this food and my heart and my soul knows like no just take another bite <laughs> okay oh my goodness Wow. Okay, but anyways, so yeah, so everything was back to normal. Fast forward, fast forward a few months. 
So my parents decide they want to go to the mall, right? And obviously I go with them. So now me and my mom go to the fix. We're supposed to go to Checkers. Okay? I tell my parents, I don't want to go to Checkers, guys. Like, let's just bounce. I'm telling them this constantly. You must know. I'm telling them this constantly. I'm asking them, please, guys. Like, let's just go. Let's just go home. Get with the program, you know? No. Nope. 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 I wasn't listened to, but anyways. So now we're going to check us. Now, my parents know the kind of person that I am. I don't like, I like to do things on my own. But especially when I'm forced into a situation, like going to check us when I really, I wasn't feeling check us. You know, I, I bet you it was Jesus speaking to me because Jesus knew. I'm telling you, Jesus, Jesus was warning me like no, like no cap, Jesus was warning me because like i really in my heart in my soul i didn't feel like going to checkers i was like guys no i don't want to go to checkers please guys but anyways so they know the type of person i am when i'm forced into a situation i don't like doing things on my own i always like taking like even when i go maybe to like um a friend's house and there's other people that i don't know don't leave me alone with those random people you know what i'm saying so yeah continuing so now we're going to check because my mom's like, can you really go to the, you know, like there's, I don't know if there's other people from other countries. I don't know if you guys know what checkers is, but it's checkers. It's just like a convenience shop, grocery store, whatever. So cool. They like send me, they like go to that little station where you can go get food or whatever. I don't know what I was supposed to go get. I think I was supposed to go get those fruit bowls. Cool. In checkers, there. I don't know but I had a bag and this one thing everybody that knows me knows about me I don't wear hand I don't carry handbags I don't do that that's just one thing about me that I don't do so this damn day I was wearing a handbag y'all I was wearing a handbag like I really don't do handbags maybe someday I will and like I'm starting to really like them but mm, I don't know this day really got me bad luck bad luck but anyways so mm, I have my brown bag so it's like one of those bags that's like it's like long and then the thing is at the end so like it's like by the side of your thigh if you get what I'm saying like where the bag the bag part is right so I don't know what happened but I was standing there by the fruit bowl minding my business you know just waiting literally I was so like I was not in the mood I was not feeling this whole chinkers vibes I just wanted to bounce and then Someone comes next to me and they literally bump me with their trolley. They literally bump me with their basket thing. I'm like, sir. <laughs> I didn't say that, but I thought in my head, no, cause. But I said that in my head. Okay, yeah. So anyways, then I said that in my head. Fine. This guy bumps me with the trolley. Nah. Then I'm like, then he's like, sorry, sorry, sorry. Then I'm like, no, it's fine, it's fine, sir. So. Then the dude bumps me again. I'm like, what the freak is happening? Cool. <laughs> Yo, you guys, it's such a bad luck like, day. But anyways, so everything is fine. I'm taking my food, fruit bowl and I leave, right? I leave to the counter because my parents were already at the counter. I don't even know what we had to go get there, but I just remember I had to go get the fruit bowl thing. So I go to the counter. Ah, we pay okay cool so i get to the counter i don't know if i was i was paying for something that i wanted to take but for some reason i, I really can't remember or something was telling me check your children check your children or something was maybe telling me like just look inside of your purse but i really don't know how i ended up looking in my purse but i wasn't paying like my parents were paying so i think something just told me in my head like look inside your purse right I look into my purse I'm searching and the purse isn't big bro it's not big so like I'm searching no phone I'm like whoa hold up <laughs> hold up I'm like whoa okay so I'm like my mind is like going my mind is going like I don't know this is the best way to like little dudes running in my mind that's what's happening in my brain so I check again because I don't know 
why I would do that. Like I check again, like you know when you go to the fridge, you open it, and then you close it, and then the second time you open it, it's like you think something better is gonna be there, but no. That's what I had. That's what happened. But the phone wasn't there again. So, <laughs> so now I'm panicking, right? So now I'm going through the shop, like seeing if and if I didn't drop it or anything. I go back to the place, the only place I was, to go ask questions, like, you know, I'm young, like, I'm all over the place, detective, and whatnot. So, <laughs> so, I'm even looking under the place where the, the fruit bowl is. I can't find it, you guys. I'm telling you, I'm shocked. Like, the breath out of me is taken away, like, I was that shocked. So, yeah <laughs> i was so shocked but i couldn't do anything about it so now you must know i even went to the extent of going to like the security people and being like can i please see like the footage like maybe like because i i had a feeling that maybe this dude like maybe stole it or whatever So I get them right to the security office thinking checkers. I'm like, can I please see your footage of like that side? You know what these people tell me? These people tell me, listen, sorry, we can't do anything for you because we don't have cameras that side. I'm like, what kind of shop is this? Always in my head. Not even person because I'm not the type of person. But I should have said it. Should have totally said it. So yeah, now, oh my goodness. I must now have to accept the fact and move on, right? Mm. Cool. So, I'm shocked. I have to accept the fact the phone is gone. I'm literally like in my head I'm so sad I'm like like really I literally my phone just broken now like my phone just got stolen I was so sad guys not even a joke but anyways I got over it I got a new borrowed phone <laughs> and then everything was fine with that so obviously now in my head I was like nah obviously this dude stole the phone and my parents was was also like yeah they obviously stole the phone but first of all, checkers, please, 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 come on, guys. Come on, guys, really. But anyways, this is not the end of the story. If you thought this was the end of the story, this is just the beginning. okay so fast forward <laughs> maybe to the end not even maybe a month later so my sister sends me a message one day so i finally got a new phone what 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 everything was fine my sister sends me a message she's like bro who is this i'm like what are you what do you mean you know i i go look at the message there's this there's a picture of this man i don't know i might put the pictures on but i don't know because i don't want to you know i'm not the type of person that just puts things but you know this guy stole my phone so y'all this man oh my goodness but anyways so she sends me a picture and this is now my old number and she says who's this man like bro what's going on i'm like bro that's the dude that was in the shop next to me that probably stole my phone so confirmed it he stole my phone nah. so after like few months like my sister kept on telling me like his profile pictures now the worst thing about all of this is he kept my name on the whatsapp thing so let me just tell you if anybody has my number out there and you see this man it's not me okay <laughs> it's not me so yeah so every time she would update me on like his profile pictures his name not changed it's still my name but he's a man 
I don't know what this man is thinking in his head, but okay. So, nah, nah, fine. Everything, I, I gave in. I felt I was like, I forgive you, bro. It's fine. It's cool. I'm going on with my life. There's better things out there for me, you know. Bad things gotta happen so I can get more good, you know. So, I was like, okay. Cool, cool. So, yes. Hmm. So, everything was cool for the most of it. <laughs> Until the same time, boom. But anyways, so I'm living my life, living my best life, you know, going on with life. So one day I get like text a uh, text from two of my friends. They're like, who's this person? Like, <laughs> they like show me like. So now I open the screenshot and it's a Facebook account with my name on. And this dude, the same dude that's on my profile pictures of my old number, the same dude that stole my phone, right? So it says he, he updated his status. Yo, when I tell you this man didn't change his name, yes, my friends. Here's my like bruh, I don't know. Like you could have at least changed the name, bro. Like, I don't know. So now he's like post like he's he's <laughs> I don't know if he's trying to be me, but clearly people can see it's not me. So I don't know, sir. Sir <laughs> I don't know what you're doing. So yeah, I guess so now I have a Facebook account with a dude on it that I don't even know that stole my phone and He's just there roaming around free, you know, living his best life. So I guess if you guys see him on Facebook, please, please just don't. Just probably report him. I don't know. But the fact he like, and like all my friends, like, and this is my old Facebook account because I deleted Facebook, like activated my last account. So he probably like went on the old phone. No way I'm lying. Yeah. So he probably used my old Facebook account now and yeah. I don't know if he deleted the pictures though because I'm not on Facebook anymore so I can't even stalk him or whatever but if you guys see me know just let him know bye sir like no he like he literally didn't change my she updated her status she sir you a man come on now come on now but anyways yeah so that is literally the story of how like somebody is stealing my identity <laughs> and like my phone got stolen. I really don't know what I'm gonna caption this, but I thought it would be like a cute, <laughs> a weird story to tell you guys. Hmm. So yeah, my he has my old number still, and I don't know if he doesn't realize that like. I can just check my old number or I can just like you know I can find his location or whatever and pull up but it's fine you know I let him live his best life but at least just change the name my guy and just change from her to him or if you roll like that I guess it's fine too but like like even the one day I saw a picture of him and his girlfriend like and it was still my name I was like, no, doesn't you? Like, what about your friends? Like, like, who do you talk to? Cause like, obviously your friends know that's not your name. I, I really don't know what this man was thinking. But yeah, guys, that is the end of this video. I hope that you guys really enjoyed it. Cause it was, it was fun to film. For sure, it's really fun, you know. And it was really fun to make all this food. And yeah, I hope you guys enjoy this. But yo, this dude, I'm I'm about to put on some screenshots because you know what? Why not? Why not? Why not? He stole my identity. Either way, so so sir, we are almost the same person now. We are almost the same person now. So I might as well. I might as well. So all I wanna say is, if you guys see this man on Facebook, or you have my old number, just know it isn't me, clearly it's not me. 
I don't know that guy. I don't know that dude. Report him. No, sir. You ain't getting away with this. Bye. No, I'm just kidding. Kill his best life. Bye. <laughs> Bye, guys. I hope you guys enjoy your day. Enjoy your food.